Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can trend a calculated function rather than just a tag. And for our example, we're just going to be using the sum of these three voltage tags to create a trend for the total voltage. So if this sounds useful, let's get started. So this is the project that I have in runtime, and I had some questions from a couple of viewers on how we would trend a calculated value. In this case, we have three voltages, L1, L2, and L3. These are simulated with the WinCC simulator. So your quality is going to be set to uncertain. That's why you have the little warning sign in the I.O. fields. But we're trending each of these. These are just looking at some tag logging archives. So how would we add another trend that is the sum of all three of these? Well, there are a few ways that we could do this. Number one is to just do it in the PLC, which is the preferred method if you can. So you would just create a function in your PLC code to sum up these values, put them in another tag, create that tag in WinCC and just trend that tag. Sometimes that's not possible based on whatever your tag count license is or access to the PLC code. Another way would be to use a global action that runs when any of the tags change and you just put the sum of the tags into another internal tag and then you can just add that. But this way that I'm gonna show you, in my opinion, is the best way. So let's go over first to tag management. These are my three tags that I have, L1, L2, L3. Of course, in this project, they're internal tags. I'm not using a PLC. The first thing that I am going to need is a total voltage tag. And this is just going to be the sum of all of our voltages. We're going to make it a floating point number. And this is the tag that we want to trend, but how do we get the sum of these three into this tag? Well, let's go to tag logging. And here I have a process value archive that are trending these tags L1, 2, and 3. We're doing it once every second and archiving it once a second. So what we'll do is we will put this total voltage in here. And looking at our archiving, there is a processing. And there are a lot of ways to process tags. You can take an average, you can take a sum, but you can also do a C action. Then you have the ability to choose a script in order to calculate the value that you want to add into your archive. In our case, it's gonna be the sum of these three tags. If you look in the help file, under archiving for process values, there is a function called template and there is one called function for conversion of tag values. And basically they give you what we call a function prototype. So you have to create a C function that takes in these arguments. They have to be the correct data type. These first two are doubles. This is a count and this is an integer. And they tell you what the parameters represent. The DLMT value is whatever the last value this function returned. And you can use that if you're doing things like sums or averages. And then the DO value, double value, this is the value that is in the tag that is being archived right now. And then our count is the number of acquisition cycles since the last archiving process. That just means if we are sampling once a second and archiving once a minute, it'll tell us what second we're on. And then whether or not archiving is true, meaning that this is a cycle when the data is going to be put into the database. Now, all we really need to do is just return the sum of our three tag values. But what you want to do is we're just going to copy this so that we get the correct function prototype. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our global script editor and open up our C editor. And under project functions, I'm gonna right click and do new. And I am just going to paste everything in there. Now I can make this whatever we want. So I can call this some voltages. And you could actually change these, but I'm just gonna leave them the way they are. And then you're gonna have a return statement. But first we need to go get our three tag values that represent L1, L2, and L3. So what I will do is these are gonna be floating point values. 
So let's just call this float L1 equals, and then we can just do get tag float, and it's a string. And now I'll just put my cursor there in the middle, pull up my tag browser, and then under voltage tags, I'll grab my first voltage tag. And then I'm just going to copy this. And of course, we'll make this L2, L3, change the name here, L2, L3. And then we just want to return L1 plus L2 plus L3. And this will be the sum of these three tags. And it is going to return every time we call to archive this value. And so we're just going to right click and compile. And then I'm going to copy this name because when we save it, it's going to ask me for a name. I'll just call it sum voltages and hit save. So now we've got a sum voltages function. Now we can go back to tag logging for our total voltage. And for our acquisition cycle, let's just say that we're going to set that to one second. So we are acquiring and archiving this value. Now the value in total voltage doesn't matter because our processing is a C action. So it's just going to call our function. So we have to go to action for processing. There's our sum voltages. It will call this and then the return for sum voltages is going to be the sum of our voltages. That is the value that will be archived. But then the last thing, here's the magic. There is a general tag property called also in tag. And if you look at the help, basically you define an internal tag, which the archive values, which are going to be written to the database, will also go into this tag. And we're going to put that back into total voltages. So we will just go into total voltage and hit OK. So the way that this works is on the archiving cycle of this archive tag, which is every second, it is going to call our sum voltages. Sum voltages is going to sum up all of the values in our tag and just return the sum. That sum will be placed into our process value archive and will also be written into our total voltage tag. Now, there's a couple other things that we need to do. First, right now I'm in runtime. And since I've made this change, I'm just going to go ahead and stop runtime. And then I am going to graphics designer to our trends PDL. And I will just make another area here just so we can see our total voltage. So let's just say total voltage value. And this is going to be internal tag. So we'll just put internal because the also value also always has to be internal. I'm just going to change the color here. And then I am going to duplicate one of these IO fields here. And we're just going to say this is total voltage. And then on our IO field, I am going to right click tag and I'll put total voltage into this. So it's going to display here. So as the archiving function sums up the tags, it's going to be writing it into here. Now, on our trend display, I'll just add a new one and I'll just call this total voltage. And we could do one of two things. We could put our total voltage in there. And I like to make my line weight a little bit bigger and we're going to make it purple just so it stands out. We'll hit apply. And then we're going to save. Everything looks okay. I'm going to make that purple just so it stands out. I'll hit save and we will go to runtime. And then I will start my simulator and we'll start simulating. And here you see our total voltage is now being calculated by our C function. We now have our total voltage being displayed. Now, that being said, I just want to point out there's a lot that you can do with this function because if you look at the parameters, it gives you the last value the function returned. It gives you the current value that's coming into tag logging. It gives you what count you're on between your acquisition and archiving and whether or not you're archiving. So you can do a lot with this. You can do rolling averages and things like that. So 
other things that people ask me is why not just go in and into either our C or VBS editor and create an action. And then in this action, we just call it every time one of these tags change and update the value. And the answer is you can do that, throw the sum and into an internal tag and then just archive that tag. But the reason that I like to do it this way is number one, all the functionality is done inside tag logging. I don't have to involve an outside script. Number two, this runs under the threading model of our tag logging engine. So that script running every second is not going to interfere with our other actions. So it's just a cleaner solution that Siemens has given us. Okay guys, so I hope that answered your questions. I hope you found this useful. If you did find it useful, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, share it with your colleagues. And if you wanna help me out, become a member and get some great content and discounts on my online courses.